everyone, my name is Gabrielle Holly, and I am going to be telling you about my capstone project today called Pleasant Run Parkway Reconnecting to Orange Park. First, I want to talk about the regional context of the Pleasant Run Parkway. Pleasant Run Parkway is located on the near southeast side running from Ellenberger Park and Irvington to the White River just south of downtown at Bluff Road. The parkway is a historic boulevard created by George Kessler, and it was a part of the Kessler Plan in the early 1900s. It is home to three major parks, such as Ellenberger Park in Irvington, Christian Park in the Christian Park neighborhood, and Garfield Park located near Bates Hendricks neighborhood. Um, it is also home to high schools, grade schools, and historic neighborhoods such as Fountain Square. As I was starting to develop this project, I really wanted to look at the current conditions um, and really take a look at the social, natural, and physical systems that are on this site. So in the beginning, I wanted to look at schools, streets, parks, and government. Um, and among other things. And then as I continued with the project, I decided to look more in depth at four systems um, that would help lead me to my design. And those four systems were hydrology and recreational trails, which are located to your right in the pictures, and then also demographics and historical facilities. After doing a handful of site visits to the parkway, I was able to start on my evaluation models. As all of my research and analysis was coming together, I was able to determine which areas needed little to no attention, attention indicated by the yellow circles on the map to your right, medium attention indicated by the orange dotted circles, and major problem areas that are indicated with a red circle. Um, and this ended up leading me to my change model and exactly where I wanted to start focusing my design efforts in. From the evaluation model, I was able to settle on three key intersections that I wanted to focus on from Keystone Ave to Shelby Street. This also ended up showing me that Orange Park located in the center of these two streets needed some help. This led to the diagram to the right. I was able to further shrink the scale of my project and use the diagram to the right to start my design. With the diagram to the right, I indicated four intersections that were key elements in designing for safety of the parkway, along with indicating Orange Park and the existing abandoned no-hoop basketball court um, to be major players in what my design would become and what the project would become. The Pleasant Par Run Parkway Master Plan starts from Churchman Ave to State Street. This plan indicates the restoration of Pleasant Run Creek with the plan to remove all invasive species and also clear cut any dead and unwanted plants. Second would be going in and doing cut, fill, and some grubbing to help with the flow of the creek, along with helping with some of that erosion and trying to build that back up. Um, and then third would be coming in with native plantings and trying to create more of a natural habitat for species and also to help clean that river since the storm water and sewage system does dump out in certain locations, which has caused this creek to have E. coli issues and also loss of species and habitats. Um, another part of this master plan that I wanna talk about is the basketball court to the east. Um, this basketball court has been abandoned and has no hoops at its current condition. Um, so I wanted to give it a little bit of a makeover, a little bit of a zhuzh, and kind of repaint it, give it a new identity, and then also add a small shelter, bench seat, benches, and bleacher seating. Um, as you go down the trail, you're going to be greeted by a new linkage into Orange Park, um, and that's what we're going to talk about next. So stay tuned for the master plan of Orange Park. Last but not least, I want to dive into the master plan for Orange Park. Orange Park is an under-maintained and underused 
an undersafe indie park located along the parkway between Churchman Ave and State Street. When I drive past this, past this park when I'm home, it just makes me sad, and I decided that it needed a makeover. The plan boasts an Art Deco-style shelter for family gatherings, cookouts, birthday parties, and other activities. This is located at the high point on the park, so that parents and guardians can be able to see their kids playing on the new playset that I've designed. The playset is home to a number of spider webs, slide, rock climbing walls, and an overhead tunnel to the lookout deck. Due to other safety concerns, because of the way Pleasant Run Parkway is designed, being a busy street, I wanted to create a statement art fence for the park. The fence would have an end piece that is reminiscent of the Kessler bridges that you would find around the city and on the parkway. But in the center, it would be prism structures that would be colorful during the day and then at night be light sources for the park. This part of the fence would also become statement pieces along the Pleasant Run Parkway trail across from the park so that you would know that you've arrived at Orange Park on the parkway. Thank you for listening to my presentation on Pleasant Run Parkway, Reconnecting to Orange Park.